To see the kind of wild lands that once defined America, fly north to Alaska and the Arctic. When you get there, look down at the endless tundra, and then look forward so that you can watch the Alaska and the Brooks Ranges rise in front of you. You may never see a boot print here, but you will see rivers full of migratory salmon and skies full of migratory birds. Then there are the caribou, the stunning, graceful caribou that move in herds that sometimes seem to stretch to the horizon. This is nature on a scale that no longer exists in most of the rest of the world. Other untamed landscapes have been cut up into tiny fragments, but that has not happened here. Here, the wild places still stretch to the far corners of the Arctic and out across icy shorelines into oceans that are full of life. Some call this amazing place the last frontier. Some say it's why the watershed surrounding Bristol Bay still supports the largest wild sockeye salmon runs on Earth. These fish nourish brown bears that pluck them from the rivers and fishing fleets that catch them in the bay. That's part of what makes the last frontier such a priceless global treasure. But this is a treasure that's in trouble. The Arctic is warming, thanks to global climate change. In dried out forests, bigger fires have been burning. Out along the coastlines, glaciers and ice sheets have been melting. Polar bears that do all of their hunting on those ice sheets have been having trouble finding food. These changes have come rapidly and more are on the way. We believe there is an urgent need to find out how to minimize the damage. But even as the ice is melting, plans are being laid to start dividing and developing the last frontier, marking precious wildlands with shipping channels, pipelines, roadways for big trucks and oil rigs. The wild things now roaming in these areas would be the first to pay if these developments went wrong. They're already threatened by the melting ice and the harsher winter storms. At the least, we think it's time to put these plans on hold and leave them there until we're sure we know how to protect one of the last great wild places from accidents like oil spills. That will raise the odds that amazing creatures like polar bears will always have a home that they can live in. This is John Nielsen for the World Wildlife Fund.